try to think of it less as music and more as long commercials, featuring the biggest names in music. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 music videos with the worst product placement. For this list, we're excluding songs that actually mention products in their lyrics which then appear in the video, like Nelly's Air Force Ones, or Carrera by Carl Wolf. Instead, we're focusing on music videos featuring truly horrible, blatant product placement. Where's the pain when you walk out the door? It doesn't hurt like it used to be for me. Number 10. How Long Will I Love You? Ellie Goulding. How long will I love you? As long as stars are above you. Talk about meta. Not only does the Nokia Lumia appear a lot in this video, the video was actually shot entirely using, you guessed it, a Nokia Lumia. So many layers. How long will I be with you? As long as the sea is bound to. We've come to expect product placement from videos for flashy pop songs, but the thing that makes this particular case so hard to watch is that the song itself is a sweet and dreamy love ballad. The video shows a couple spending a day playing some version of Truth or Dare, where they tape everything using the Nokia phone. Clearly, their fun adventures and quite possibly their entire relationship are only made possible by the fine folks at Nokia. Nothing says I love you like corporate funding. How long will I love you? As long as stars are above you. Number 9. Leave the world behind, Loon. Leave the world behind you. All right, you convinced us. We want a Volvo. No, we need a Volvo. How else will we go on breathtaking Scandinavian adventures? Just surrender yourself to the rhythm with your hands up in the sky. This video feels a lot more like a short film than a typical music video and features electronic supergroup Swedish House Mafia in the starring roles. Like many of the videos on this list, Leave the World Behind blurs the line between artsy commercial and actual music video, but it's so much more than the sum of its parts. In the end, commercial or music video, it's a stunning result, a beautifully shot homage to Sweden that will make you want to hop on a plane and, well, leave the world behind in a Volvo. Number 8. Live It Up, Jennifer Lopez featuring Pitbull. From the streets of Miami to presenting at the Grammys. <laughs> Con el mulito de Jennifer. Maybe now you understand. Cut them some slack. This video might be overflowing with product placement, but up and coming artists like JLo and Pitbull have to find creative ways to make ends meet in these trying times. You really can't blame them for wanting to get a little extra cash. This song is a party anthem, and the video hawks assorted luxury products, all fitting with the YOLO theme. Swarovski? Check. Beluga Vodka? Check. Ice watches? Check. Oh, and Nokia phones, naturally. This is exactly the type of music video where you expect to see artists popping bottles and flashing jewelry, so we're not that surprised. At least the ice watches fit a little more organically than in No Doubt, Settle Down. I'm into Joey. Yeah. Cute. Let me see. Is he cute? Number seven, Sparks, Hillary Duff. You can promise castles, treasures, babies, I don't care. Cause for now you're just enough for me, I want you near. Who wouldn't join Tinder if they knew there was a chance that Hilary Duff would swipe right on their photo? Whether this is art imitating life or life imitating art is a mystery to us. But basically, the video features Duff's dance sequences interspersed with what seems like hidden camera footage of her going on real Tinder dates. I want to know what it is to connect with someone and what it is that gives you those sparks. How else is a pop princess going to meet a nice guy in this modern technological age? 
In the video for Sparks, Hilary Duff shows she's just like any other young woman, looking for a match who's cute and likes Sriracha. Should I reach out to Jason? Yes. Look at him. He sounds funny and he I likes Sriracha. I knew yeah. that was going to be a winning point for you. And <laughs> cheese. Sure. And vodka. And wu -Tang. Number 6. Greyhound. Swedish House Mafia. Before they partnered with Swedish automaker Volvo, Swedish House Mafia made a similar deal with another Scandinavian export, Absolute Vodka. The beverage itself doesn't feature heavily in this video, appearing in only a couple of quick shots. That is, until the action of the video ends and the final shot is, inexplicably, a bottle of Absolute on a tray in the desert, making you feel like maybe you were watching a vodka commercial all along, but were somehow tricked into thinking it was an electronic music video. Considering Greyhound was launched alongside an ad campaign for Absolute that featured images from the video, it's clear that this was more than just your standard product placement. Number 5. Hold It Against Me, Britney Spears. It's hard not to hold it against Britney. Brit Brit has actually put out some pretty solid songs in her later career, especially on the electropop influenced album Femme Fatale, which features the infectious Hold It Against Me. Sony is the most prominent brand name in the video, which makes sense as Spears was signed to Sony Music Entertainment. The director clearly went for the we're selling out and not ashamed to show it approach, giving clear attention to Britney's makeup forever eyeshadow and her radiance perfume. Then Britney gave us Work Bitch in 2013, featuring Lamborghini and Beats Pill product placement. Oops, she did it again. Number 4, Focus, Ariana Grande. Samsung Mobile had their work cut out for them after Drake dropped Hotline Bling, which ended up being the most talked about music video of 2015, and happened to feature the rapper holding not one, but two iPhones. I know when that hotline bling, that can only mean one thing. How could the South Korean conglomerate compete? Getting Ariana Grande to feature the Galaxy Note 5 in her video for Focus was a valiant effort, but it admittedly came off as a bit heavy-handed. Come on, girl. It seems like the lyrics Focus On Me are clearly about the phone, and not so much the singer. Also, is it a coincidence that Grande and her dancers appear in galaxy-inspired outfits for a portion of the video? We think not. Number 3. Wake Me Up, Avicii. Feeling my way through the darkness, guided by a beating heart. They may seem like unlikely collaborators, but Swedish DJ Avicii and American fashion mainstay Ralph Lauren team up for the electronic artist video for his hit song, Wake Me Up. This video is among the most viewed YouTube music videos of all time, so clearly they did something right. So wake me up. Ralph Lauren's denim and supply line is front and center in this video about two sisters, or a mother and daughter, it's unclear, whose trendy clothing makes them outcasts in their backwater town. Outcasts they may be, but what better way to put the focus on their gorgeous denim outfits? Luckily, a nearby semi-apocalyptic city is home to other fashionable people and the girls are saved. Two, Adventure of a Lifetime, Coldplay. Turn your magic on, let me see it say, everything you want to dream away. We dare you not to cringe while watching this video. Product placement aside, there are a lot of things to take issue with here. Just try to imagine the marketing meeting where the concept was conceived. 
CG apes? Great idea! Choreographed a jungle dance party? Amazing! They play instruments? Fantastic! But wait, I feel like they also need to be singing the lyrics. Oh, they're doing that too? Splendid! Oh, I can feel my heart it's bad enough without product placement, but the ape's initial discovery of a beat speaker in an awkward parody of the Dawn of Man seems to be the catalyst for all the antics that follow. Beats, we hold you responsible for temporarily robbing a once respected band of their dignity. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Rock and Roll, Avril Lavigne. I don't care about my makeup, I like it better with my jeans all ripped up. Is there anything less rock and roll than the intro to this video? Oh, my new Sony phone is ringing. The intention here may have been over the top irony, with Avril blatantly name dropping Sony in the first 10 seconds, but considering the effort Lavigne has put into marketing her personal brand over the last few years, nothing feels ironic about this product placement. Okay, well, how much more obvious can I make it? <laughs> Wait, the Sony Xperia can be completely submerged in water and still work? That's actually pretty amazing. No, we will not be sucked in by that demonstration, no matter how impressive. The only saving grace here is that the phone only appears in the intro, with the rest of the video remaining refreshingly ad-free. Nonetheless, those first few seconds are pretty damaging, and this isn't by any means Avril's first offense. So, do you agree with our list? Can you think of any music videos with worse product placements? DJ, turn it up. It's about damn time to live it up. I'm so sick of being so serious. It's For more marketable top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Okay, well, I'm sorry if you don't get it by now. I'm gonna have to say goodbye, sir.